वेलकम बैक गाइस टू दिस थर्ड एपिसोड ऑफ हाउ टू क्रिएट योर फर्स्ट एंड्रॉयड गेम फर्स्ट वी गो थ्रू दिस टॉपिक फिजिक्स एडिंग द आर्टिफिशियल इंटेलिजेंस डिफेंड योर सेल्फ स्कोरिंग एंड कॉलिशंस एंड फाइनली द टेस्टिंग एंड पब्लिशिंग ऑफ योर गेम बट इफ यू रियली सीरियस अबाउट योर एंड्रॉयड गेम डेवलपमेंट दैन स्टे नंबर वन इज फिजिक्स In Android game development physics is nothing but the collection of effects which mimics the physics of the real world incident here you see a screenshot of Angry Bird Pro the game has quality collections of effects as we see a very complete physics engine for use in our Android game 2D physics engine used by and engine that is called box 2D now adding the artificial intelligence the artificial intelligence of enemy will define how the enemy attacks the player and how easy or difficult the game is for the player to win games are more fun when the players has to use his or her intelligence to outwit the opponent opposing the intelligence might be a multiplayer game or a game that might build with the developer displayed through the actions of the collections of the game now number 3 it's defend yourself As your game development skill increase you will go for working on game performance like tracking the score multiple level of the game power up upgrade or purchase some weapons and also how your weapons or the strategies will defend them or cross the each level of your game number 4 is scoring and collisions the important issues of your game is to win and go to the next level A simple scoring system should at least meet our these needs. Number 1 is keeping the track of your current score as game being played. Number 2 record some number of highest scores. Number 3 is display the current score to the player and number 4 display the list of the highest score. As your game going to more complex your scoring system will includes some features like keeping track of the score players in a single game record the time and date of the high score provide scoring by time exam time to solve a puzzle rather the points and etc and finally testing and publishing of your game as your all game completes all the features you will go to the publish for the real world there is one more features you would like to add in in app purchase You need to test your game thoroughly finding and resolving as many bugs as we possibly can when user download your game you want to surprise them how much fun your game is to play and how it will works Now it's time to set up your android game development environment let's have a look First jungle download the java development kit from here and install it in your windows and then download android studio if you are using windows platform don't download the android studio from here or if you using mac os or linux you can download it from here also so here i have already downloaded java development kit and install it here c program files java jdk 1.7.0_75 now setting up your class path and java home now set up your class path and java home from here click on my computer properties advanced system settings environment variables <coughs> then new copy the address and then 
make OK. Here I have already set up my Java home and for class path you have to also go to lib and copy it and then click on new keep the variable name is class path and paste the value here then make ok I have already set up my class path here here now open Android studio now install Android studio I have already installed Android studio here in C program files Android Android studio here so install it in your PC and now create your first Android game project here and it's now file new Android project give your first Android game project is my game the next uh, select API level 17 Android 4.2 oh, you your app will run on approximately 61.3 percent of device of all actives on the Google Play Store so if you select Jelly Bean 4.1 then your apps run on approximately 82.6 percent of the device active app on the Google Play Store then hit next select blank activity then next then your activity name will be main activity activity layout name is activity main title is main activity and menu resource name will be will be menu main then click finish you see that use gradle of the project is building Now see your Gradle building is finished is 1 minute and 22 seconds. So this is your my game project and here is your main activity class and it is your XML file. This is your layout. So see how to create your first Android game part 4 for your first Android game project on Android Studio. I have lots of video to coming up on Android game development. So why are you waiting for? It's time to subscribe multi Android zone. And stay tuned to www.unblog.com and be more effective.